Large swaths of many gardens and other manicured areas are exposed to the sun with no way to escape it. This means that gardens and landscape beds planted with sun-loving perennials will flourish in these locations. Once established, many sun-loving perennials will return year after year to provide vibrancy to your garden. And check out this list we made. Number one, Allium. In late spring, Allium gives flower beds and gardens a towering, bulbous appearance. Since this clumping perennial's foliage is restricted to the base of the plant, it is best used with low-growing, blooming perennials in shades of yellow and pink to give texture and hide the foliage as it fades. Alliums may be grown well in zones four through eight. Number two, Black-Eyed Susan. This low-maintenance, native North American perennial blooms from June through October, bringing welcome texture and color to your autumn garden. Black-Eyed Susans are tolerant to high temperatures. Hot summers bring out the best in Susan, and the plant grows so rapidly that it often smothers its surroundings. By frequently dividing them in the fall, you can keep them from encroaching on nearby plants. Zone three to seven is ideal for planting. Number three, Blazing Star. These natural prairie wildflowers create one-of-a-kind purple blossoms that attract butterflies and add a splash of color to your summer landscape. Even though blazing stars are adaptable and may produce white and pink fuzzy flowers on long stems, the purple kind has a more visually arresting effect in both natural settings and artificial arrangements. Zones three to eight are optimal for growing blazing stars. Number four, Feverfew. Throughout the summer, Feverfew flowers with daisy-like flowers that are just about an inch in diameter, perched on top of stems that are covered in parsley-like foliage. Feverfew looks great when used as a border or bordering plant for landscaping beds or in cottage gardens. Feverfew, a bushy, fragrant plant, may rapidly self-seed if given the chance. By removing spent blossoms, you can not only tidy up your plants, but also limit their growth. Zone five to eight is ideal for growing feverfew. Number five, goldenrod. With its arching stems and profuse small yellow blooms is a fall favorite. Great for fall pollinator gardens, this cliff and bluff dwelling native is a nectar source for butterflies. For a beautiful fall display that feeds numerous pollen-collecting insects, goldenrod is fine to plant, even though some people mistakenly believe it causes hay sickness. The real culprit is ragweed pollen. Zone five to eight hardy goldenrod. Number six, lupine. Lupines make a lovely border perennial for the edge of landscape beds or cottage gardens. However, their tall, flamboyant spires may require staking. Lupines are useful for fresh-cut flower displays and are a host plant for several threatened butterfly species. These well-liked purple flowers thrive in sunny regions of your yard or garden and can be grown successfully from zone four through zone eight. Number seven, ice plant. The ice plant, a perennial succulent, fills in dry sections of your garden with a riot of color while keeping the soil moist. If you maintain the soil on your ice plant dry throughout the winter, you can continue to enjoy the evergreen foliage. The ice plant needs well-drained soil that stays dry throughout the year, not only in the winter. The plant's leaves and stems wither and die if the soil is too damp to drain. The hardiness zone range for this plant is six to 10. Number eight, lamb's ear. Lamb's ear is a summer flowering plant with tall flower spikes that range in color from pink to purple. 
When used as a border or edging, lamb's ear complements brighter, showier plants very well, especially those with blue or purple flowers. Hardiness zones four through eight are suitable for this plant. Well, thanks for watching video from Catchy Garden. Don't forget to click like and subscribe button to always support our channel. You can also turn on the notification bell to get the latest videos from us. We'll see you in the next videos.